Now I'll be the first to say support your hometown hero. Support those that make it out the city. I'll be the first to say that. And the first song I heard by Trippy Red, I think it was a song called Love Scars or something like that. And I liked it. And I said to myself, I said, this kid about to be bigger than a rapper. He about to be a rock star. And boom, bam, he became a rock star. Then things start to get a little confusing. I said, this dude don't know if he want to be a gangster. If he want to be the devil. Or he want to be a young lady. Which is none of my business. Because you can be what you want to be. But the problem is the influence. Now, he may not want to be a role model. But you can't take away the influence that you're going to have over the babies. Now, I have no problem with him wanting to be an evil gangster young lady. That's not none of my business. Like I said, the problem is the influence you have over these babies. Now, he's worth over about $6 million, right? Which lets me know that his demographics is mostly young kids. Because I ain't never went to a party and they said, you got the new trippy, play the new trippy. Matter of fact, I never even rolled past nobody that was playing trippy red but he's worth about six million dollars. Now, nothing about these images say, be a great father, be a productive citizen in society, love your mother. When I look at these images, you know what I see? I see drink tap water, use drugs, slap your neighbor, carry a pistol, catch a case and tell on your friends. All I'm saying is, he's from the hometown and it broke my heart to see him in a dress. It broke my heart to see him as a young lady. That's the young thug effect. They doing it to all the young men. I'm tired of seeing black young men in dresses. And I'm not a hater, I'm a commentator. And maybe this is the results of young black men being raised by single mothers. Or it could be people are taking money over integrity. But I tell you one thing I know, they make one guy rich to influence a million other people to be on some bullshit. That's what I do know. I'm gonna tell you when I knew it was over. When Lil Wayne was kissing baby on public TV and everybody got Lil Wayne in their top five, I said it's over. Now give me, don't get me wrong, what he do in his private life with baby is his business. But you know what I'm saying, when I seen him kiss a grown man in the mouth on national TV, I said, hip-hop is over. They done took it from us. Now, some might say, well, why do you care what he did? Loans the music good. You know why I care? Because I don't want to go around singing lyrics. What if it's a line in a song and say, I love you, and I'm singing it, but he's talking to another man? That's why I care. And that's why we need categories. If you got sugar in your tank, you should be in a whole separate category, rap category. It should be sweet rap. Sweet rap. Put you in a sweet rap category. We got sweet rap. We got drill music. We got mumble rap. And we got hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Give the listener a chance to know what he's getting into. And that's all I'm going to say about it. That's it. That's all.